Hello guys and welcome to another Hacker Rank video. Today we're going to be solving migratory birds. You have been asked to help study the population of birds migrating across the continent. Each type of bird you are interested in will be identified by an integer value. Each time a particular kind of bird is spotted, its ID number will be added to your array of sightings. You would like to be able to find out which type of bird is most common given a list of sightings. Your task is to print the type number of that bird and if two or more types of the birds are equally common, choose the type with the smallest ID number. For example, assume your bird sightings are of type array 11223. There are two of each type 1 and 2 and one sighting of type 3. Pick the lower of the two types seen twice, which is going to be type 1. So this problem is fairly easy. As you guys can see, all we have to do is count the types, right? Get your max count. And then from then, we just have to return the one that has the max count and has the smallest type value. So as with all of the easier HackerRank problems, I typically would just create a pseudocode on paper without having to actually use a language to program it out and keep that until I try to post the video. So I haven't created any code for this. All I have is some pseudocode that I wrote and we're going to go ahead and implement that. Why do I do things that way? First is there is no perfect programmer. So the thing is to let you guys see that I can make mistakes as well and not give you guys some perfect code because at the end of the day, it takes time to actually think about the problem and to solve it. It takes time to actually write the solution and to make get it right. Sometimes you might write the solution and it's actually wrong, okay? And then you have to go ahead and fix it. So I want to take that approach to doing these problems. And when we go get into medium to hard questions, then I might take another approach, all right? So let's go ahead and actually solve this problem. All right. So we need to keep track of the max values because we need that to check to see what value we need to go ahead and return based on the count value. All right. So for now, this is going to be equal to zero. Next, we need to create an array to actually hold our count. And by default, this is going to go ahead and make sure that our actual counts are sorted by default. All right, so we don't have to use a sort method for this. And we can use some bit shifting here rather than just uh, putting in six. And the reason here I'm doing this, so this is gonna shift one, which just means that this is gonna be three times two, all right, which is gonna give us six. The reason is because it says here that our constraints are guaranteed to be type one, two, three, four, five, right? So for us to create an array that includes five, we actually have to add one to it and make it six. So next, what do we need to do? We need to go ahead and go over the array so that we can go ahead and count the values. So I'm gonna say for each loop, I'm gonna use val here, and we're gonna go over the list here. So what we need to do first, we need to go ahead and increment based on the subscript, which is going to be the value. So we're going to say counter array, and we're going to go ahead and say val, and then we're going to go ahead and increment that spot here. So remember that for a primitive type array, the initial values are going to be zeros, right? So what are we doing here? We're saying that go to where that value that we're currently looking at to that subscript location and increment that value in there. And by doing that, naturally, we can count how many of the values we see so far in this list array. The next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and keep the max of that. Why are we keeping the max of that? Because based on the max, we know what value to return. So we need to keep track of that. So we're going to say uh, math.max. And what we want to pass in is the max value and the current value of where we look where we are using the stops the subscript in the array so we're going to say uh, count array and then we're going to go ahead and pass in file all right so that's going to be the value that we're looking at 
So next, what we need to do. So we now we have for our max, right? We now have our max here. So what we need to do is we need to actually return the smallest type. So we need to go ahead and create another loop. I'm going to say for int i is going to equal to zero. I is less than count array dot length. Right. I'm uh, going to do i plus plus. And all we have to do is return the first i that we find. All right. The first max that we find. Why are we doing that? The thing is that based on how we do the counting here, it's going to go ahead and keep the array already sorted. So we don't have to go ahead and go through everything and figure out which i value to return. We just need to go ahead and actually just return the first one that we find because it's going to be the smallest that we find. So we're going to say that if right the count array and the current value is equal equal to the max value, then let's just go ahead and return the current value. So we're going to go ahead and return i. And to make sure that this doesn't fail because we still need a return statement, statement uh, let's go ahead and return zero here. All right, so by default, um, I will never reach here. So based on this uh, solution, we will never have to reach here, all right? And this pretty much takes care of the solution for this. So now let's go ahead and run the code. And that passes. And let's go ahead and run the solution for this.